I cannot believe that I have been at home with my parents for almost six months already. It's going to be six months in like two weeks. And I just, I just can't believe it. Like it all happened so fast. I pack up my stuff and I moved out of Dallas. And if you guys did not see uh, my video, just updating you guys on why I actually moved, you can check out that video. I'll go ahead and link that video down below. And I'll also put it right here on the screen. That way you guys can go ahead and check it out. But so far y'all, it's been really good. Um, so I'll kind of tell you guys, I guess kind of like what I like and then kind of like if I'm missing Dallas or not. So for the most part, I think I really do um, just enjoy being able to just be with my family at any given time. You know, if a family member calls me to go to the store or just go down the street to my grandpa's house, like I, I always have access to uh, my family and then my parents. So yeah, so that's really been good. Just being able to just kind of be around family and yeah, like I'm just home, you know, like I'm here. Um, but so far everything is going good. I'm definitely enjoying not paying any rent, okay? Um, that has been really good. Not having to worry about, you know, $1,400 being taken out of my account every single month. Um, that's been great, y'all. So a lot of pros on just being back home. Um, I just love that, you know, I never really feel alone here. Kind of always have somebody. But I'm not gonna lie, I do miss Dallas, Texas, y'all. I miss Texas a lot. Um, and one of my friends from Dallas, she actually called me and she was like, girl, you just look so much happier now that you're back home. You just look like you are flourishing. And I think it's mainly because, you know, I'm back with my family and stuff like that. But um, for the most part, y'all, I really do miss Texas. And you guys have to keep in mind, that was my home for like the past six years. Um, so I haven't really lived in Louisiana since I was like 18. Well, I haven't lived in my hometown um, since I was like 18 because after I graduated high school, I moved to New Orleans, lived there for four years while I was in undergrad, and then I moved to Dallas for six years. So yeah, I haven't really been home in like 10 years, which is kind of crazy. But um, yeah, it is what it is, y'all. But I definitely miss Texas. Um, I miss just kind of just being in that luxury apartment and just, you know, kind of waking up to like that that girl lifestyle, you know, and just kind of being independent and being on my own. I definitely do miss that. Um, you know, now that I'm with my parents, it's like, you know, I don't have to just worry about me anymore. I have to worry about, you know, me, my mom and my dad now. So that's just a little different, um, a little, you know, getting used to. And I did have a moment earlier this week where I was just like, I just want to go back to Texas. OK, um, but, you know, it's going to take some time for me to really adjust and to really you know except to being back to my mom about it and she was like you know what if you want to move back in a couple months move back and I don't know I may or may not move back I'm not like rushing to get back there but I just have my moments where I just really miss being there you know just all together so um, yeah, so that's that. So that's been pretty good though. Just me being back home um, But I wanted to give you guys an update because I know a lot of people, you know, commented on my video and they were like Oh, you just took it so well, you know moving back in with your parents and you looked at it as just a positive thing And you know, but I wanted to be you know, very transparent and I don't want you guys to think that oh, you know I moved and you know, I just don't miss Dallas and da da da, -da. And I have my days y'all. I have my days because I'm not in my own you know, how it's not in my own space. So just wanted to update you guys on that. Uh, but so far, doing pretty good with that. Um, you guys know I started a new job um, after I moved back home. So, so far that has been going pretty good. Um, I'm getting a lot of marketing and a lot of like business development skills with the job that I have now, which is really good because it'll help me with my own personal brand, Real Southern Bell, right? Because whenever you learn how to market yourself and promote things and sell, you can sell in any aspect of your life, you know, um, even when it comes to influencing or selling a product, you know what I mean? Um, so it's building not only, you know, my work development, but I'm also building my personal brand development as well. Um, so, so far, yeah, that has been going good. I cannot believe I have been on that job for, let me see. A little over four months now that fast y'all <laughs> which is kind of kind of crazy but um yeah so that's good work is going pretty good um you guys know that i am in a relationship now if you guys watch my weekly vlogs well my bi-weekly vlogs that i post on my channel you guys have probably seen bae he is my boyfriend and um we've just been doing you know really well i just communicating and we're literally like best friends um so yeah so very happy there 
Um, but yeah, y'all, so that's another thing that kind of changed in the last couple of months. Um, got a boyfriend in the picture now. Um, so yeah, so that's been going good as well. So yeah, so those are like the main three things that I want to cover in this video. Looking down at my notes just to make sure, but I wanted to talk about, you know, moving back home, being in a relationship, work and stuff like that. Um, and now we can just have our last little motivational slash influencer chat um, where I'm just going to pretty much talk to you guys about just content creation stuff. Um, so I'm definitely still creating. Um, I definitely need to be more consistent on all platforms, um, especially when it comes to like TikTok and Instagram. I start posting y'all and then I stop posting out of nowhere. Um, so I'm gonna try to start being more consistent again. And social media is like a whole nother job, y'all. It's hard work. Um, so I definitely want to do that. And I also want to look into Pinterest. Um, I do have a Pinterest account, Real Southern Bell, but I don't really use Pinterest. I normally just go on there and use it like everyone else as a search engine. But what I'm understanding is that a lot of influencers are making a lot of money from their content on Pinterest. And it's just another great stream of income and another great platform to be on. Um, so that's one that I want to look into as far as brands. I have been pitching to brands. Um, I have not gotten a brand deal in the past, I don't know, maybe like two months or so. Um, so I definitely want to get that back into gear. I've had a few brands reach out to me, but they just wanted to offer me free products. And I was like, ah, no can do, especially if it's something that I feel like they do have an influencer budget. I feel like you, you can pay up something, okay? You can pay up something. But um, if it's a brand that I really, really want to work with, then I'll go ahead and say yes. But for the most part, I've really been just declining um, some brand. When it comes to influencers, I think that my taste in influencers have changed. And the people that I follow, that has all pretty much changed. And um, I used to watch a lot of like other creators that are like in their early 20s and, you know, getting a lot of money and traveling and stuff like that. But I'm actually starting to like the influencers that are closer to my age or a little bit older than me. Um, I feel like their content is just more valuable. Um, and some of these content creators that I started watching are High Low Lux, Karen Britchick, Monroe Steele. These are all women that are in their bags. They are very mature. But what I love is that they also share like additional streams of income and they talk about how they invest their money. And it's just so much more value I feel like I'm getting when I'm watching these creators and that's the type of life that I'm striving for not just you know get rich quick off of influencing no like I want to learn like how are you guys investing your money it's cool to see that you guys have an accountant like this is what you have to do whenever you're at that level um so I'm really starting to enjoy watching those types of influencers um versus just the ones that are kind of just you know just living their best lives and just not really investing money just spending a lot of money stuff like that not really into that um, a lot either. And then lastly, I just want to talk about, you know, how to stop holding yourself back. Um, so I noticed that a lot of us, we can do it to ourselves. Um, so I was listening to someone on Instagram and she was just talking about, you know, there's people with half your potential that are way further than you are because you're not putting in the work. Um, and I can definitely understand that, especially when I see like a lot of creators, you know, and you're like, dang, like they just doing this and they at this level, but they're posting every single day. They're being consistent and they're being intentional with their content. And that's something that I need to strive for. Um, so, yeah, so sometimes I feel like we can definitely hold ourselves back. But if there's something that, you know, you want, like go after it, like don't hold yourself back. If you know you can be, you know, creating videos and taking pictures on a Saturday or Sunday, you know, just to get yourself ready for the week then do what you have to do. Um, so that's something that I definitely have to do. I have to put more work in because it's like, you know, I'm saying I want this, I want that, but it's like, what are you really doing to get to those different levels that you want? Um, and then I also started getting into the whole self-help, self-affirmations, meditation realm. I know a lot of people don't really like self-help books and stuff like that, but I actually love self-help books now. Um, I recently started listening to the audiobook, You Are a Badass. I've been listening to that every day on the way going to work, and it is super, super inspirational. And if you are doubting your greatness, then you need to go ahead and listen to You Are a Badass. It'll change your entire mindset. It'll have you out here thinking that maybe you can just do whatever you want to do, okay? And that's how we should be thinking, I think, as individuals on a day-to-day. -day, I feel like we really shouldn't limit ourselves um, because there's a lot of money to be made out here and people are really out here happy 
doing what they actually want to do and not just doing what they have to do. You see what I'm saying? Like people are really out here living their best lives and just getting the best of both worlds. Um, so I definitely recommend, you know, if you're having trouble with just motivation, inspiration, um, confidence, get into those self-help books, get into following creators that are into like self-help and meditation and stuff like that. And then I also want to talk about two, take advantage of free stuff. Um, so if you see content creators having like free webinars and stuff like that, attend those free webinars. For example, um, Erin on Demand, she did like a free content creator audit thing. And I listened to that and I joined that webinar because it was free and it was information that was really valuable to where I'm trying to get in life. And then also Raven and Lisa's mom, uh, Miss Tony Scott. Tony Scott has a Facebook group for YouTube creators like myself who are looking to grow on YouTube. And she always does these little like free webinars. Of course, they want you to enter their classes, you know, at the end of the webinars, but they're giving out free information. And these webinars are like, you know, an hour long, you know, so it's some free value and free nuggets that you can get from some of these content creators. And I consider that really valuable because if y'all know her daughter, Raven Lee's, Raven Lee's has like 2 million plus followers, like on Instagram. And um, I think she has like 2 million on YouTube and she has like a million or whatever on Instagram. But anyway, like it's free valuable information. So really use that, um, those free resources that you see, you know, come available. But um, that's pretty much, you know, all I want to talk about when it comes to, you know, just my little quick update and my quick nugget, my quick chit chat. Um, but other than that, this year is going by super, super duper fast. Uh, I was hoping to at least have, you know, like three or four um, paid brand deals by now over the past two months. But it has not happened yet. Um, so I'm hoping that it's going to happen soon. But um, I'm definitely going to just continue to pitch to brands and just let brands know, you know, hey, I've been using your product for a couple of years. Like, I would love to work with you um, and, you know, and just start there and start really tagging brands like on my stories on Instagram. So if you guys do not follow my Instagram, make sure you go ahead and follow your girl underscore row seven bell. And also just engage with my content. That would be amazing, y'all. But um, as far as YouTube. I still have my goal, y'all. I'm trying to get to the double digit. I'm trying to get out of that 5,000 and get into that 10,000, you know? And uh, I definitely do want to have more engagement. You know, I want to see those 5,000 people that are subscribed to my channel. I want to see them, you know, like the video and engage with my videos on my channel. Like living with my parents for the last couple of months. Like it's been going by super, super duper, duper, duper fast. And I'm just... I don't know, like I miss Texas, but I know that, you know, paying that rent in Texas, that was just, just ridiculous, guys. That just didn't make no sense. I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do for makeup today. You know what? I'm going to just add a little bit of eye. You guys comment below, like, who are some of your favorite content creators? Like, let me know down below in the comment section. And also, if you do read, like read books or listen to audio books let me know like some of those books that you guys are reading um because i definitely want to start listening to more audio books because i'm not a person that'll like i will not like read like a book like i can't stand just being in a quiet space and just reading a book like i definitely prefer listening um to an audio book so all right i think my makeup is pretty much done. Just going to my grandpa's house today to chill with my That's about it, you guys. I am all done and ready to go. Thank you guys so much for tuning in back into my channel. Be on the lookout for my new videos, you guys. I have a car tour coming your way. And of course, I have another vlog. And I also will be uploading a video on all of the amazing products that I got for the Sephora Spring Savings event. So if you guys like this video, give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.